everyone, Delightful Dolls here. Quickly, before we get started the shouts for today, go to Jody Steen, Gymnastics Queen, Royalty Black, Natalia Sintra, and Dreaming Puppies. Thank you so much for commenting, and remember, if you'd like a shout out, all you have to do is comment something nice in my videos. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to make an adorable miniature backpack. Also, try to ignore my band-aid I cut myself earlier. This is perfect size for Barbie dolls, and it can open a little bit at the top, and I think it looks really realistic. So I'm starting off with this template, and my template is three and a half centimeters by four and a half centimeters, and I rounded the top, as you can see. Next, I'm grabbing some cardstock-like paper. Mine's a little bit glossy, but cardstock works well, and a pencil. And then I'm just tracing my template at the top of that paper. Next, this depends on how wide you want your backpack to be. I'm marking a half an inch. And then I'm tracing the template once again on the other side. And then you should have this weird looking shape. And then just cut it out. Then I'm going to fold on the two lines and I'm using a ruler to help me get a nice straight fold. And then I use the back of my scissors to really make sure that fold is nice and creased. So you should have a shape that looks like this. Next I'm cutting a strip that is a half an inch wide and cutting that out. And you want to measure it around the backpack and mark where it ends. and then cut that. Now, if you want your backpack to open, mark two centimeters from both sides, and then draw a line connecting those marks, and cut it out with an X-Acto knife on that line with a ruler. So now there's a little opening. And then gluing this around the edge of our backpack shape. So now it can open at the top, and then I'm just using my scissors to cut off any little glue blobs or anything I don't want showing. Now I'm marking a three by two centimeter rectangle and cutting that out and rounding the corners. And this is going to be the pocket of the backpack, so make sure it fits nicely. Next, I'm marking a half a centimeter strip and I'm gonna glue that around the edge of the rectangle we just made. And cutting off the excess. And then gluing it to the backpack. And now for the texture part of this backpack, I'm using Mod Podge. It doesn't matter if you use a gloss or a matte Mod Podge for this part. So I just take a paintbrush and grab a good amount and then just spread it over an area of the backpack. I like doing an area at a time so it doesn't dry really quickly. I put on a thick layer and then I use a toothpick to make the little designs. I do like a crisscross sort of design. And I go back over the lines a few times to make sure they're very noticeable. And then I continue doing this all throughout the backpack. And repeating that on the pocket of the backpack as well. And as you can see, I also did the sides of the pockets. And now I'm doing the side of the backpack. And I also did the bottom. And then let that all dry. 
Next, I'm taking my X-Acto knife and just recutting out that open part because some of the Mod Podge most likely sealed some of it back together. Then on a piece of paper you don't care about ruining, take some nail polish of whatever color you would like and start painting the backpack. It's important to do a very thin coat so that the marks you just made with the Mod Podge are still visible. Then I'm cutting a thin strip and twisting it like so and gluing that to the back of the backpack at the top. And then cut out two longer strips and I'm mark measuring where that will go around the doll shoulder, shoulder and gluing that accordingly. And then double checking that it fits nicely on the doll. And then covering that in nail polish as well. And I also decided to cover the inside of the straps as well. Now to fix this ugly back, I'm taking that same template from the beginning and tracing around it and cutting it out and then gluing that on the back. You don't need to cover the back with nail polish because it won't be visible when it's on the doll. Next, this is optional, but as you can tell right now, it's very uh, it's very glossy, especially if you used a glossy nail polish. So I'm gonna use some matte Mod Podge with a paintbrush and put a very thin coat over everything. I didn't do this with my other backpack, so it is the first time trying it. And I think it did turn out really well and gave it a more realistic look. And then once again, using my X-Acto knife to reopen that opening. And this is what it looks like. I do like it a lot better with the matte. Next, I'm using a silver nail polish so I can put on the zipper designs. So I start with just putting a line across and then doing some smaller lines all the way across that. And then I glued on a little nail art piece for a little zipper. And then I did another zipper on that pocket. And this is what it looks like. Next, to make a little pom-pom, I'm just gluing a small piece of chain to a pom-pom. And then gluing that to the backpack. And I think this adds a really nice touch. And now the backpack can fit some small things like little doll notebooks. And I think that's really awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys try making a backpack for your guys' doll. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!